Hello everybody. Today I want to discuss something about uh, the non-parametric density estimation, in particular the kernel density estimation, which is a tool, a way of estimating the probability density function of a given random variable. The object of the kernel density estimation is to represent the distribution of a given sample taken from a given population. The theory is based on the concept of histogram, which represents a sort of, of point samples. And uh, well, the idea is to use this histogram as um, starting point to represent the distribution by s smoothing this point and to imitate or to uh, get near to the uh, real actual distribution function. Well, First of all, let me briefly illustrate a discrete case. I'm supposed to have a capital X as a discrete random variable, which Xi as observable data. As I said before, the goal is to estimate the uh, probability density function, Fx. And for the discrete case, a good consistent estimator is half hat d where d stands for discrete and which is equal to the ratio uh, n star over n where n star represents the number of cases where the observed data xi is equal to a given x which represents our actual value whilst xi represents our observed value. Well, the estimator could be written in the following fashion and to the power of minus 1 times the sum of k of xi equal to x. Well, k is an indicator function and the indicator function can only take two values. One, if our observed data are equal to uh, a given x, or zero otherwise. So basically we, we have a sum of one and zero, and uh, of course this uh, sum of one and zero is divided by n, which is uh, the dimension of our sample. In the continuous case, otherwise, we have always uh, continuous random variable, capital X, and a given set of observable data, xi. Uh, well, the probability that xi, our observed data, are equal to x, is equal to zero. Well, this time a good consistent estimator can be written as f hat c and it is equal to the following expression 1 over n gamma times again the sum of uh, the indicator function. Well, you can understand that with respect to the previous case, the discrete case, we have two differences. The first one is the existence of a parameter, gamma, which is a sort of smoothing parameter or band wave, which is uh, something uh, uh, which truly depends on the precision that you want to get in the estimate. And of course the fact that the indicator function is a, a function of the difference, the uh, distance between our observed data and uh, the actual uh, observation divided by this parameter which is the smoothing parameter 
and uh, this distance must be uh, encompassed uh, in an absolute value in a given interval, in this case between minus one half and one half. And of course, as before, the indicator function can assume only two values, one if uh, Ka is true, our uh, assumption is true, the fear is that the differences between our observed data and the actual value um, is less than a given uh, parameter or zero otherwise. Well, I suppose now 